And hello, my name is Pillow, and I'm a top badge here on Tagged App. And this video is done because the prices of gold or how to use the app is um, confusing. So if you have questions on how to use Tag App, this video will explain a lot of stuff to you. So to even find me, you had to download Tag App. So thanks for doing that. And if you got other friends, tell them to download the app as well because we have a good time over here. But to use the app is uh, a little bit difficult. It is composed of a lot of different parts, three different parts for sure. And um, if you understand all three different parts, it's easy to navigate through it. We are going to start off with gifting because the price of gold has changed. And because of the price of gold has changed, we want to be able to purchase the best of, uh, buck for our dollar, the biggest bargain for our dollar. So I have both phones because everybody have Androids and iPhones, and I will walk you through the way to purchase gold uh, through each phone. You, you can go through the web browser and use your email address and your password and go to gold and buy it there. But the way that I purchase gold is I go to the app and I go to my profile. When you're on your profile, you see all the listings of everything to do there. And at the top corner of the um, page, it's a little wrench at the top of my nail there. And that is the settings. This is the Android phone we're purchasing Go with on the first phone. It's an Android. So once we go to settings at the top, we scroll to the bottom and we see terms of services. We tap Terms of Services, and then at the top here, you'll see a gold tab. This is the tab that we hit to buy gold. Yes, there is an option to buy gold in the live stream in the gift box by hitting the gift box and then the green uh, buy gold button, but you get less gold if you purchase it in the streamers live. So I advise all people who purchase even the smallest pack Go out of the streamers live, go to your profile, go to settings, and then hit terms of services. And once you see terms of services, gold is at the top. Once you click the gold button, you will see this page. This page lists all of the gold prices. And of course you get your biggest buck if you buy a hundred dollar pack or more. A $99.99 pack, you get 400,000 gold. Or you could buy the $199 pack and you get $800,000 gold. The smaller packs of gold is even increased. If you purchase these in the streamers live, we learned that if you purchase the $150K pack, you get $25,000 less gold. If you purchase the $50,000 for $10, I believe we said $5,000 less gold. And the smaller packs as well, you do get less gold if you are purchasing gold in the streamers live. So we are gonna go over how to get to the same spot on the iPhone. It's just the same way. iPhone, and again, you go to the regular app, you go out of the live streamers live, you wanna gift them, make sure you hit the favorite on them so you can find them easily, like you like the person, hit the favorite on them, go out of the live stream, go to your profile, once you click your profile on an iPhone, it's a little bit different than an Android. The settings button is actually at the bottom of the profile screen. You hit the settings button from there. And of course it takes you to the same terms of services. You scroll to the bottom, you hit terms of services. And again, the gold is right there at the top. You purchase, you hit the gold button and it directs you to the same page and gold is again listed the same price as we saw on the Android. This is how you purchase gold on Tag App. You don't wanna purchase it in the streamers live because if you purchase the 400K package for the $100, you only get 300K. So you lose out on 100K in gold, which is equivalent to a jet. And since we're talking about the prices of gold and gifts, 
I want to go over my chart I created myself based off the numbers because we do know what the prices of it is. Always be cautious of where, what you gift your streamer. Sometimes you like them a lot, so you want to gift them accordingly. And if my regular people that have been on my YouTube channel and on my uh, Instagram, they've seen this green chart a lot. And then years ago when I first did it, it was um, actually a blue and white piece of paper with coffee stains and stuff on it like that. So I'm going to go over these gifts with y'all. If y'all have any questions, please ask about the gifts. When you gift them, be cautious of what you get a streamer. You know, sometimes we get that free bear up there. Yep, it costs 50 coins out of that pack that you decided to purchase. It gives the streamer one cent, one whole cent, and then it's equivalent to four diamonds. If we you give a streamer one rose, just one, it costs the gifter 500 coins. It gives the streamer money-wise 10 cent. And it put 40 diamonds on their board. If you give the streamer a, a red car, it costs the gifter 5,000 coins. It gives the streamer money-wise $1. And it adds 400 diamonds to their board. Then we have the small castle. It costs the gifter 25,000 coins. It gives the streamer, which is equivalent to $5, and put 2,000 diamonds on their board. Then we doubled it into the big castle, $50, $10, $4,000. The famous jet, of course, everybody gets those jets on almost every stream we love to. They are 100,000 coins. It gives the streamer a whopping $20 and 8,000 diamonds on their board. And then we have the red carpet, the dragon, the icy. And since this page was created, we have two more larger gifts, which is a lightning dragon, for 1.25, 250,000. And then we also have a uh, golden dragon, which y'all see my beautiful will, and it costs 3,750,000 coins, and it gives the streamer $750 and puts 300,000 diamonds on their board when you send that gift. All the um, people watching this video, I like golden dragons. You know, you can come here and press that button. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, but I do. But okay. So if y'all got questions about how to buy gold, that will answer everything how. And then those are the gifting charts on what to send a streamer. If you you want that, I wanted to. I, I wanted to. If you are in a streamer's live and you enjoy them, you watch them over and over again. It's like going to the movies. Somebody asked me earlier before this recording started, why should you gift? Why not? If you having a good time in that streamer's live, I think they deserve a gift. If the streamer that you see is your everyday program and you tune into them every day to see what they're doing, they deserve a gift because you are getting entertainment. You know, you are enjoying that person. They're bringing to you something that you keep going back to. It's just like a TV show. It's just like going to the movies. You know, would you pay for a movie ticket to go see the show or are you going to just wait and get the bootleg copy and see it for free? You know, you treat the streamer and some of the streamers, this is their real job. This is their only job. This is their income. They put a lot into it. They stream for hours and they should be gifted. The app teaches you to do so by having different things like the gift box there. So the gift box is there and it says, as soon as you click in a stream, stand out, send a gift. After it gives you the free gifts, thank you love, it also gives you an option to watch a video. The app is yet encouraging you again to send a gift, okay? The free video and the free gift is not enough for any person to cash out. You would have to save for years just to receive a carpet off the app for free. So there's no way you can watch enough videos and uh, send enough free gifts to equivalent to anything that would be worth a dollar amount. It will take you an extremely long time to do that. 
So the right thing to do is to purchase a pack. You don't have to purchase something that you can't afford. Purchase what you can afford. If you only got $10 on a, a debit or credit card, use that $10 on that debit or credit card because you like that entertainment. If you like the big balling and have fun and press gifts and love the big reaction from the big gifts and you are genuine with it, yes, purchase the big packs and light the screen up. Be noticed, be seen. Tag wants you to be seen because they glorify the gifters. Not only are there things like levels, like we see Nori is at 38, so amazing is at 31, but in the room, once you, um, I need to point right here for my YouTube, but my live stream is seeing them here. My YouTube channel is seeing them here. In the room, they are glorifying that my number one gifter, he gets his own spot on my screen. That's a big deal. His whole picture and a badge beside it to say, I am number one. In the room, look at me. This app is glorifying the gifter. So why not gift them? Why not catch that bubble up there? Why not stand out and show them, hey, I love this person more than everybody else in the room. At least today I do. Look at where my name is. You know, I'm the number one. And when I got on here, that's what all it was about to catch a bubble. You wasn't nothing in the room if you ain't caught them bubbles up there. You wasn't. So that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I wanted to tell y'all. Gift the streamer if you're having a good time and they stream, they deserve a gift. If they're entertaining, if they have a show that's a feature show and it has great content and, and you're watching the whole hour, you should have hit the gift box on them. You should be able to gift the streamer something you can't afford. Please do not send a gift or something you cannot afford because um, bad things happen when you send things you can't afford. Like, Bad things happen. Thank you, MG. So gift the streamer what you can afford. Now about learning the app, we're going to navigate through tag apps so that you know a couple things. And just in this live screen right here, before even going through anywhere else, you could do stuff on here that you didn't even know you could. Like you could tap my name and favorite the person in a live stream. Okay. And if you um, tap my name, it also has my bio, which you should read all streamers' bio because it has something that they took the time out to write for you to get to know them. So read their bio. Then also there's links to their other social media and in my host, my YouTube, and my um, Instagram. So you hit those links and you follow the person and you see what they're up to. Also in a live stream, you can click the diamond count. The diamond count is a big deal. It's why the app is, is composed of the gift given because of the diamonds. So you hit my diamond and I have 546 million diamonds. And you look at my board and I'll show my YouTubers if I hit my name. Here's my board for this stream. It shows how many diamonds I've accumulated in this stream. All of my gifters on it all the way down. And then at the bottom, you can see the viewers that are coming in behind them. Then also the next screen over, and I'm speaking to my YouTubers because they are seeing the screen with me, but I want y'all to swipe over also so that y'all can see it as well. My this week's stream, you can also see how many diamonds I have accumulated just in this week alone and everybody who has gifted me. So um, you utilize the live stream so that you know, excuse me, all the components. to a person's page. You look at all the diamond count for this stream, the week, <coughs> and also the all time. The all time board is very important and I'm still on my page for my YouTubers to see it. My all time board is very important to me. It's how I got to 546 million. These people mean the world to me, the ones that are still in my live stream. And um, they made their mark in my life. And if you ever come on to tag and you look at Pillow's all-time board, they're going to say, who took her to 546 million? Well, these people did. My, my top 10, my top 20, my all-time gifters all the way down. You can see who they were for me. And I'm going to stop right there at about 50 for this recording so that y'all can see. But... Um, you can check that in any streamer's room to make sure you know what the boards are. 
after you've done that in the room, you've hit the favorite button, you've read the bio, you can favorite. It is best that you do. Why not favorite the gifters? Favorite the one, two, and three. Sometimes you might want to favor all the gifters in all of the rooms. Hey, active. So we're going to go outside the app on the profile side of it, and we're going to see what the app has to offer as soon as you open it up. When you go to tag, it's the first page you see is a for you page. At the top of the for you page, it's all these banners running across. And those banners are what's going on on tagged app and they are there for nothing but to help you. You can click any one of those and it will tell you more about what the banner is. When I first got on here, I never even looked at the banners. I don't even remember what they were but you can go across all of them and see what they are. They also have a live central button and you should look, utilize that one because it really does tell about the app and different stuff as far as VIP, um, how to be a streamer. This is where you go to even apply for a top badge. Some people don't even know where to go. This is where you go to apply for a top badge, but we ain't doing that subject. This is just on learn and tag the app. Um, you go to live guidelines. The live guidelines are super, super important. I had just had a ruckus on here on Tag that I wanted to do a show and I wasn't allowed to do it. And they recently added some new live rules in the streaming because of Pillow, but um, <laughs> that's another story. But anyway, um, utilize the live streaming tab on here to know the rules for your content about live streaming. But if you're just learning the app, you don't have to worry about streaming, just utilize the app. So after you have the For You page, they're gonna bring up some people you might wanna see. I really don't fool with the For You page. I love our trending board. I'm just so used to the trending board because it used to be the first page on here you see. So For You is up here at the top. And then the next page, I'm being getting them. There you go. For You is up here and the next page is trending. So these is all the top badges. They show up here first. It is about um okay then we trending up here it is about um i believe 10 or 12 spots one two three four five six thirteen one two three four five six seven yep they have about 12 to 13 top badges up here trending first and then we have the other uh streamers and other tops that trend on that page as well and they go in um rotation we don't just sit in one spot we go in rotation based on the hearts being held, the conversation being typed, the algorithms in the app, and the gifts being given. We go on rotation for that. Then the next tab we have is the nearby, and I don't want to hold this up there because y'all need to see who nearby me, but um, nearby is next, and then we have a date one that's next. Usually these people is playing that date box game, which is a feature on here as well, and I'll throw it up for my YouTubers to see. This box pops up, and if you are a guest in a live stream, does somebody want to play a date me real quick so we can get the words to come across the bottom of the screen? Do I have a contestant? Y'all scared? You scared? Thank you, him. Okay, we got a contestant. Hello, Eric. Okay, so when Eric popped hey. in... Hi, love. So when he popped in the box, if my YouTubers will notice, a question popped up right here. Also, the buttons up underneath him popped up where it's, I can next him if I did not want to date him. But Eric is my babe, so we're going to give Eric a date. And then the hearts and stuff come across there so we can see we have our date. Now, that allows Eric to come back and talk to me again because there's a timer up there and it's going to run out. But if you don't want to ask him the questions on here to my YouTubers, you can click that box off and now you can see the full screen of it. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut this box off and keep it going. And then on here also, there is a um, next guest feature. That next guest feature, anybody can get in a box. Nobody has to date them at that time they get in a box. And we got Eric coming back again. And if he bothered you, you can hit next. But Eric ain't no bother. I let him sit up there. And they put their own timer up there. I think I probably could change the settings or something. But that is a feature the app also holds as well. Thank you, Eric, for the help. Appreciate you, love. So those are two on here where you go to the date. And that's where those people would be popping up on that date tab that we came across on the top. 
And the next one is our favorites. And it tells all of our favorites who are online right now while we are live. And I just went in there versus Shy. So Shy is showing up first in my favorites. And everybody else that I have favorited, they are live. That's where that shows up. So if you in a streamer's live and you've hit the favorite button on them and they are not live, they wouldn't be featured under your favorites tab. You have to wait until they go live and then you can actually find them on the favorites tab. Then across the top is a new tab. Those are probably people who brand new on Tagged Up. So go by and check them out. The last one is my favorite tab on the whole app. It's probably the tab I click on the most out of all of them. It is the leaderboards. It is the red tab right here. And I click on this leaderboard often because I just love to look. I love to look. The numbers amaze me and I just love it. I love it. I love it. Um, if you're not into the numbers, then don't bother about looking at it. But if you are into the numbers and you want to see what goes on, you can hit the top diamonds and it lists the people who are all time um, Stun is the number one man in the app. I won't go down the list of everybody on there, but I am listed on the all time. So go find me on there. Um, you can watch any of the past contests on there. You can see who won the VIP contest. And I love to show this because 51 and that's my babe in here. So he placed second in this contest. He's going to be a playlist. I'll get to meet him in person. You can see past other contests by hitting that little bar at the top and it brings up all the different contests that were held in this past week. It does change every week because it'll be a different contest. And sometimes when you go on a streamer's live and you see one of these emojis up by the top of their head, it's because they are placing in a contest. So that is what that board means so that y'all can all check it out at any time. Um, your streamer, you can search them as well. If you don't find them on those leaderboards, you can type their name into the first, um, that little wrench up there at the top. If you are live and there's a wrench right there and you could just type the streamer's name in there and search for it. Also, you want to make sure your name is clear and you can search for yourself as well on there. Um, other stuff you should know about tag is it has a pets playing portion of the apps. Okay. And the page looks like this and you can only go to this pets on an Android phone. Thank you so much, Kirby J. Um, when you go to pets, pets is a good place to check how long gold is on sale. Gold goes on sale for four days and it's off on the fifth. So right now today, gold is on sale for, where is it at? One more day. It said it right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. One day in 15 hours, 33 minutes and 22 seconds and counting. So right there, you can, um, see that gold is still on sale let me hit the buy gold button right there and see. And even if you click buy gold right there, y'all see them numbers change. They all smaller than what I showed you at the beginning of this video. You see how much smaller they are? You got less on everything. These two packs remain the same, but on this $10 pack, you got 5,000 more. On this pack, you got 25,000 more. On this pack, you got 100,000 more. And on this pack, you got 200,000 more gold. And that is a very big difference. So that's why I tell you, never buy gold from there. Please go to the portion I said, profile, settings, terms of service, then purchase gold. You can purchase it from your, it's a big difference in, in the price. You don't buy it from the app. They're correct. Don't buy it in my room unless you mind the very last pack because in my room, you see these prices. But on the app, let me take you to the app on an iPhone so I can show you. You see these prices. You see that? You see how much less you're getting? They upside down because that's an iPhone and an Android. But I want y'all to look at that. That hundred, that two hundred dollar pack at the top is this eight hundred k pack right here. Okay, so you see that you are getting. This is buying it through terms of services and gold, and this is buying it in the live stream or on the pets portion. Okay, so buy it on the, the other portion of it. But this is the other portion we'll show you about the app and using. It's your pet section. This is under the play tab and your profile. 
you go to the pet section and you'll see who owns you if anybody does own you you can buy other pets and um you can play pets now a lot of us always come on here for a date like i did so on your profile you go to browse and that's where y'all find dates at okay because y'all be coming in the live stream like we supposed to get with you already so go to the browsing section and meet me side and play that and match up and meet somebody now you might come across some streamers that's single and i am but don't come at me broke and no gifts in, in my life if that's how you're going to treat me. I don't like that. I'm, I'm going to hope everybody know that. And since we're talking about how you treat me too, let me let all of my people know this as well. I've had hundreds of y'all come off of my YouTube channel and my live and say, Pillow, I saw your videos on tag and send me nothing. And keep your name in the blue. That ain't right. If I done taught you the game... Don't come in my life like that with nothing. I know I deserve a carpet or a dragon or better from y'all who have leveled up, made y'all page bomb or done everything on here. You should treat the person who taught you that stuff because you did not know none of this. Ain't nobody out here making a million videos and breaking down this app for nobody because they a bunch of selfish suckers and they don't want to teach you. That's why I'm one of the first teachers on here to let you know how to use this app, how to excel, how to get it on here. And treat me like that. It feel better when I, I get treated like that. Um, also, I want to teach y'all some stuff. Can I have somebody that's just blue and I don't mind? I need to use you for the video, please. Um, type for me. The colors of your name mean a lot. Okay? The colors of your name on tag shows a lot. So, no, Eric, you read. I need a, somebody who just sitting in my life ain't gifted. I need a blue to type. And they probably nervous to type because blue calls you out. Blue shows that you have not sent a gift. There we go. There we go right there. We got Fox a million and him. And their name shows up blue. And the reason their name shows up blue with nothing behind it, no ring around it or nothing because it's, it tags say they did not send a gift. That's how come tag glorifies the gifter so bad. Because if they sent the gift right now, their name is going to look like Chell's name. Tag is going to make their name yellow or gold, whatever you want to see it. And tag is going to put a badge right beside their name. They made them feel better. Like, oh my God, look what they did for my name. If I just sent one gift, I got my name out the blue. Y'all hear people say that on the app. We're going to go over a little bit of tag terminology so that y'all get into that too. But out the blue is um, respectively saying, um, change your name from blue to yellow. It shows that you support the streamer, and you can. You can hit the free EBT in the uh, live stream. You can watch a video, or you can go to the in the gift box and hit earn gold and download a, a game or do a survey or do all kind of ways you can get gold on here. It ain't going to get you a lot, but it will have your name go from blue to yellow. Can you convert tag gold to diamonds? No. Gold is given to you and it is diamonds. If you give a gift, it costs you. And we went over this portion, but I'll show you really quickly. If you sent a jet, it costs you 100,000 coins and it gives the streamer 8,000 diamonds. That is how gold goes. Okay. Okay. Unless maybe you worded your question different. So, once the person's name is out of the blue, they are then yellow. They are considered a gifter of the live stream. Thank you so much, Fox and Millie, for getting your name out the blue. Y'all see that? See, didn't that feel good? And look at her name now. Her name is now all the way yellow and tag put a badge by a name. What a gift box. And said that person is a gifter. Look at them. So, they glorified it. Then after that, your name can turn either. Can I have a VIP type for me that ain't red in here? Scarlet. Good. Scarlet's name is Green and she's VIP and she's not red in my room. We'll get to red after this. But the VIPs all show up. It's green, purple, and black. And they all show up green in your live stream. It's because Tag is even glorifying them even better and saying, hey, for green VIP, I've spent $750 on this live on my account. 
and now I have a badge automatically when you walk into anybody's live stream without sending a gift, without doing anything. They want you to stand out just because you are VIP. So ain't this gifting thing better? Because I mean, they, they keep giving you more and they keep giving you more. So now on top of that, they can also give you, um, well, the streamer can turn you red. And red is Eric's name. And red is Sugar Mama Chewy's name. And that means they are my bouncers. And to me, the word bouncer means this. It means they are first one of my biggest supporters. They are a supporter of my live stream. It ain't got to be big, but it could big can be brought in many different ways. Because you could be read in a person's live stream and you ain't got to be sending them the most gifts, but you might be the person that's talking to them the most that everybody is seeing, that's holding the live down. Because who wants to sit in a live stream where half of y'all don't even talk? So hopefully your red is going to hold you down and talk to you and say something like, hey, Pillow, how your day going to keep up the normal conversation just until the next person comes in and picks up the conversation. You need some kind of security on having people hold you down in there. Your bouncers hold you down. Now, if I did a versus and... um I versus a random and they don't have no diamonds, but I have a couple people in my stream. I would hope my red would not leave me on zero. We get streamer XP points for those. So I'm hoping like my red is going to take me off of zero. Also, anything that I'm doing in my live stream, one of my reds is holding down the hearts. As y'all can see on my uh, YouTube, these hearts been going the whole time this video been going. So one of them is loving on me enough. And hopefully it's one of my reds or somebody else. They hold and down my hearts for me, um, showing that they put in support in for me. Also, um, your red is there for a big, big thing. They can remove people out of your live stream. Either they can remove them from the stream or they can kick them out permanently until you remove them off your block list. I don't tolerate disrespect. If my live stream is going well and I have a great vibe and we laughing and everything else and somebody come in here and try to be rude to me, I will hope my red people would catch it before I do or have to respond to it and they would kick that person out of my live stream so that we can continue to have a good time because you want the vibe in your stream to be good. You don't want to be on the negativity and the BS that goes on. You want your red to hold you down and do it. We're going to check this real quick just to see. Nah, we gonna do it just to, to let my youtuber see this is what's called a versus black caesar is versing me and we gonna just talk to him normal he don't know he ain't gonna know we record it let's see hey black what's up girl how you i'm good how you doing i'm going to say it again Get down the road. How long you got to go? 20 hours. Oh, Lord. Can I ask you a couple questions? I mean, I already, you know what I'm saying? Hmm? I'm going to do 11 today. Do the rest oh. tomorrow. I'm going to do 11 today. Do the rest tomorrow, you know? Federal oh. laws. That's how I follow it. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you a question, though? Yeah. When you first downloaded Tag App, was it confusing? I mean, yeah, it was confusing at first, you know. What it was? Took me a couple of days. What was confusing? The confusing, the confusing part was, uh, to me the most, was trying to figure out how to actually use the app. Okay. You know, and so I was going in different streams, but I was getting kicked out, too, because I had no levels. I only had one picture up, but then, you know, Red Star, I don't know if you know her. I know. I went her. Hush, That's my sister. I went on her screen, and then she was like, I was just about to get kicked. She's like, nah, 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 I'm coming in the box. So I came in the box. She was like, you should stream. She said, no, 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 don't stream yet. Like, what you do for a living? I'm like, uh, I drive trust. She was like, oh, okay. She said, look, I'm going to teach you how to use the app. So I bought gold. She told me how to bought it, buy the gold and all that. Those same people that kick me, they beg me to come in the loud room. Okay. And you, I don't come in there. <laughs> but you, the biggest thing was you learn how to use the app and you learn how to gift and be accepted in the live stream. And it was about right. adding photos and sending gifts. And once you did those two things, it was easier to navigate. 
it was more easy to navigate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did, did you have any other difficulties on here besides those two? What's up, Coco? No, no, nah, not really. I don't know the difficulties at all. Okay. You know, like, uh, I didn't go, I didn't go live until I was level 59, Black VIP, so. Okay. That's another thing, too, if you're trying to be a streamer. You need to really get your name out here first. Yes. And then go live. That's some because great advice. Because a lot advice. of people just go live first, and, like, nobody knows you're there. Right, right. But tag. Right. So get your name out there and getting them bubbles is a good thing to do so that everybody get to know you. So when you go live, those people hit the fave on you. We talked about the fave and glorifying those bubbles and stuff like that. Black Caesar, I appreciate the verses. I'm actually recording from my YouTube channel on how to use Tag App. And you did bomb at showing us um, a great example of it. So I thank you for all your information and input. And it'll be on my channel. So go check you out. Most definitely will. All right. Yeah, yeah. You be cool. You be cool and do your thing. And to my YouTubers, there's an option to rematch him. As you see, it's a button here. I can hit the green button and rematch him, or I can hit the X and reject it. You don't reject your friends. I'll let the time just run out. And um, I'll catch you later, Black Caesar. And thank you so much, Sugar Mama Chewy, for getting me off of zero. And we did win that versus when you see the big um, win sign. So you will hope that your red do those things that hold you down in the live stream uh, in your verses like that or anybody. Anybody that's in your stream and you support that person, go ahead and make sure they're off of zero. That's a big thing. Make sure they're off of zero when they are in a verses. Um, so, so informative. I love your streams. Thank you, love. Y'all have any questions for me? Any questions? Because I kind of go fast and we've been going for a minute. This is on how to navigate tagged. If y'all brand new to my stream and it's the first time you on here, if you have questions, I will gladly answer them for you. And as I was telling y'all, Trinity just walked in. She's a purple VIP and her name just on the app is glorified with confetti all around it and um, is lit up with the VIP. That's in anybody's stream. They don't have to be read to be have that glorified. That's just showing that you should give gifts. That's the big thing. We talking about uh, gift giving and learning the app. Also a little bit of lingo about tag. Let's go over a little bit of tingo. Lingo. Get out the blue means to change your name from blue to yellow. Send a gift. Okay. You might hear that. Get out the blue. Um, you might hear EBT. EBT is simply the free gift. Like EBT food stamps is for free. So EBT meaning tag give you a free gift. So where's my EBT at? You know, so you hope your people press those in the live stream. They don't carry over. So if in that stream you see a little hopping 100, a teddy bear, sun, anything, cherry, something like that, hit that EBT in that stream. It's meant for that streamer. It's not going to pop up somewhere else. Tag put it in there because you're supposed to be gifting that streamer the EBT. Um... Again, don't buy what you can't afford. Hold the streamer down that you like by holding their hearts and supporting their live stream. If you want to be seen on here, let's go into that a little bit about Black Caesar. I started off as a gifter. People didn't just come into my live stream. You had to get your name out there. You had to be seen, like you said. You had to be in those bubbles and have your name all over tag and have people come into your live like, who are you now that you're going? Uh, live, they didn't send you gift on there, so maybe you will be receiving some of those big gifts back or what was meant for you back. Okay, so um, when you go live, don't um, flip. We're gonna talk about that word flip. You hear it all over tag. What is flipping? What is flipping? Okay, so flipping is this, there's some rules to this flipping stuff. Queen of flip right here. Flip the whole first hundred million. I love to flip. When I got it, I want to do it. When I'm Megatron, I'm BC out here in contests. I just flipped and I won a contest. Uh, the People's Choice Award. I put 10 million on the board. Flipping costs money. It's not a bad thing, but people frown upon it because they feel like you cannot get gifted naturally. I can get gifted naturally and I have been known to flip. Okay. It turns into an ugly thing when it's not an agreement. So just like anything else, you have money to deal with. You want to get on the phone with the person. 
okay? And you ain't talking about a little bit of money because you can flip a jet. You can throw me a jet and I'll say I'll throw you a jet back. We both lost 20% tag, which is 2K. So you got 8,000 on your board for your 100K. I got 8,000 on mine, okay? When you flip, the person who throws the bag first is the person who ends with the bag. So if I threw you the bag, then Darren got to throw it back to me. And it's my uh, coins. And if that other person want to start and it go on the other side, then it, that's how it go. On a flip, your board should absolutely match. If they don't match, then one of y'all done gifted more. And it's okay because maybe that's what y'all agreed on. Or um, they done played you. Maybe they only throwing you back the conversion. Maybe they ain't adding no money to it. And then that's when it gets ugly. Okay? So you don't want to flip with anybody unless you have an agreement with that person. Do not go and force anybody into a flip. Don't come in my live stream and drop me a golden dragon and tell me I got to bring you a golden dragon back. I'm not. You cannot make me put $300 with your gift that you sent. How do you know I got $300 to put with your gift? Okay, so that's a force flip coming in there and making somebody throw something back at you. You might end up with just a little bit of your stuff back. You do that to me, I'm going to keep it going, dragon. That costs too much, you know? So um, you need to talk to the person. Y'all have an agreement. If y'all have an agreement, y'all numbers should match and both of y'all should be happy at the end of it. If the first flip, and, and start out small, $50, $100. If they doing them numbers right, then increase it. But don't start off flipping $1,000 and this person done ran off with your bag and cashed out because it happens every day all over tag and you can be dumb and naive to it because I was dumb and naive to it myself, okay? So don't say that ain't going to happen to me. I'm smart and it happened to me, okay? So, and it's frowned upon because people flip to get up the board quickly. Like I told you, I flipped to get $100 million. Okay, I am proud of it because I know how much money it costs me to do that. But in the end, it's frowned upon. Sometimes they like, oh, you can't get real genuine gifts. And yes, you can. You just have to have the entertainment part of your content to get genuinely gifted like that. Um, but again, choosing to flip is something you and a person have a personal agreement and conversation with off the app, on the phone, maybe via face-to-face, -face, Instagram, video, face, I don't care. But look the person in the eye and make sure y'all have a definite um, agreement on how much money you're going to spend. If you don't know the numbers, you don't need to be flipping. You hear me? If you do not know them numbers on this sheet, and it's sad to say that every gift come across the screen, I can about tell you how much money that gift put in my pocket, but I know these numbers inside of my head. And if you don't know these numbers, you don't need to be flipping. Okay? And if you don't know the numbers, just send gifts. Just send gifts. And don't expect it, um, the, the person to come right back to your life with that. Gift genuinely. What happened to a genuine live where somebody just come in brand new and just gift you and ain't expecting nothing back. And maybe they don't even stream. Maybe they don't. And they just want to give you something. Take your gift and that's that. So stop turning it into more than what it got to be and making it ugly and abusing it. Abusing the gifting. Um, Y'all abuse the gifting by, um, I hate to even say this, but I'm going to say it out loud. Uh, Y'all abuse the gifting by buying and gifting and being real big in a person's room and then calling a the card back in. And I'm going to say it out loud because you affect the streamer. Tag already got paid. So if you call your card in for $100, you making that streamer pay for what you sent. That's unfair to the streamer. If you don't got it to send, don't send nothing at all. Nobody's forcing you to do nothing, not in this stream. If you in another live stream, and I've seen it all over tag, they talk you out of your bag or talk you into sending a gift, and they are good at it, very, very good at it. It's their skill. If you're in a stream like that, and that's what they're doing, you is the person responsible for what you send. Okay, so don't send more than what you can afford. Any questions over gifting, over flipping, over red, blue, yellow, green in a live stream? Any questions? Yes, be a chill forgiver. Yeah, because the thing about gifting to me is 
I never asked none of y'all for gifts. Seven, yes, I asked him. But y'all, no. No, nobody else in my live stream because he my number one. So, I, yeah, seven hold me down. But I get a, a big high, a natural, whew, when somebody presses a button and I'm doing something else and I ain't even know it warranted a gift. Okay? So let that streamer's talent or the entertainment they doing warrant the gift that you give them. If they're in a stream and they asking for it and you say a closed mouth don't get fed, then that's the type of giver you are. I've had plenty of gifters like that. They be making me have to say, oh, you need to send me a jet by now. Some people are like that, but most streamers want you to give freely without them having to ask you for it. Think about it. Who wants to ask you for it? You would think the person want to just give it to you just because they liked you enough to come back. So think about what you're giving to the person in the live stream. No more questions. Hey, Juan, how you doing? I think I'm going to go like maybe five, ten more minutes and we about done with this one. Why are we doing a video for my YouTube channel on learning Tagged App? So when you download a Tagged App, what was your most confusing thing about the app? What was most confusing to you about Tagged App? If I didn't go over it already. Hmm. And again, tag is glorifying the VIPs. I usually don't call the VIPs out in here because I got my own. I call them my own, like one, my own, seven, my own. The pets portion. I'm still a little confused about the pets portion too. I know I play it. I put money over there and I buy pets and stuff like that. I do it on high gold day, which today is good gold day because in two days, you'll get half the amount of gold and every four days it resets. And um, the pets portion was a little confusing, but I would try to find somebody who pay, plays pets and ask them in detail about it because I'm still not sure with the numbers. Like I know the numbers for gifting. I do not know the numbers for pets. I do not. Who's live to go into? Hmm. That's a very good question. Um, we all get lost on tag into different streams. It's a lot of different streams on here. It is girls twerking right now on here it's guys with the camera on the ceiling and fire up there with no content it's featured shows going on right now it is battles and uh versus is going on right now it's like a whole movie theater full of suspense drama informative all kind of everything going on in each person's life because you don't know what you're gonna click in and go into my advice would be to go into the live streamer, of course, the, the picture is appealing to you. A lot of the photos are clickbait just to get you in there. Some ass, some titties, a man with no shirt, you know. It's clickbait to get you to go in there because they look good. So if they done got you and went in there and look good, hopefully their content is good enough for you to stay in a live stream. If you're looking to go into a live stream and they not what you wanted, just exit and leave the stream. Don't be rude or nasty and type something ugly to the person we get tore down enough so when you go into a live stream you should say hello and let them know that you there and they ain't just there by yourself you speak when you walk into a person's house i'm in my house y'all walk into my live i will hope all of y'all speak but 257 people didn't speak you know so you say hello if you can't give you hold the hearts probably get your name out the blue by sending an ebt or hopefully watch a video for that person in a live stream if they have content that you enjoy, you stay. If they're doing something that you don't want to see or hear or talk to the negative crap or all that bull or whatever, they ain't uplifting. Like on Sundays, we do praise and worship. If that ain't what you want to hear, you want to praise the Lord, come here and praise the Lord. If that ain't what you want to do, leave the live to any of the streams if you run into. Leave the live. Nonsense if you ask me. What's nonsense? What is an EBT gift? We talked about that one earlier. EBT considered free like food stamps. So the tag lingo has attached the word EBT as in food stamps to the free gift. 
but it's the free gift on the screen, like the cherries or whatever. And if you see an EBT in the screen or a free gift on the screen, you should um, automatically send it to that person in that stream. It belongs to them, the app saying they need to be gifted. Also, the app has components that they can use on here, like a, um, a guest box. Four more people can enter my guest box. A total of five of us can be in the screen at one time. So if you want to live stream and have all your friends in the screen, you can. Clickbait. Twerking. Yeah. Well, the term clickbait is, I, I ain't going to say I created it, but I, I said that in my, my mentee group. I said a lot of stuff in my mentee group, like um, name yourself, your tag name, and do underscore tag, and everybody on the app is using that from Pillow out of my mentee group. Um, so, yeah, you use clickbait. You want to use an appealing picture, because I ain't trying to be funny, Lorenzo, if we tap your picture and we just see just your face like that, maybe if you took a different view, or maybe you didn't have two shirts on, maybe you will get more views, because we going off what's appealing to the eye. I'm just being serious, chill. Like, it's what's appealing to the eye. Now, killer, um, you saying they show a little skin or are you asking me? I'm not showing nothing. This is what you get. You're lucky you get this much. I'll probably just have my face. Right, he only have one. But remember what Black Caesar said at the beginning of the verses. He had a hard time navigating through the app because he only had one photo and no levels. That sound like him. You a member from BLK, that's fine. So on BLK, we sister companies with BLK, MoCo, uh, POF, and WorldStar. So all of them see all of us. And um, that's why it only shows one photo. Okay, we get it. Well, to all of my YouTubers, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it was something that y'all all learned. If you learned anything off this video and you appreciate Pillow coming here and show me some love and... Um, I hope everybody else in the live stream enjoyed it. With that being said, my YouTube is coming to an end. Don't forget, download, tag, app. Come find me. Type in pillow. I'll pop in first.